Federal Reserve will get into a huddle later tonight for an unscheduled meeting. The Fed will review the advance and discount interest rates charged to commercial banks and analysts believe any move on the advance and discount rate could be indicative of a benchmark interest rate rise by the end of the year. So watch out for what the U.S. Fed has to say. The U.S. markets have opened just about in the green. It's absolutely flat at this point in time as far as the Nasdaq is concerned. And of course, uh, the U.S. markets will react to what the Fed has to say. But here's the big story. The news of the U.S. Fed meeting tonight has led to the strengthening of the dollar even further. In fact, the dollar index was rising over the last few days as investors anticipate that rate hike from the U.S. Fed in December. This has rattled commodities of all shapes and sizes, so let's start with base metals. Take a look at what's happening with copper. It's at a six-year low today. Nickel has been on a free fall with prices crashing to their lowest level in 12 years. Zinc is also at its cheapest level since 2009. Precious metals are also falling and that's having an impact on both gold and silver prices here in India as well. That's the story back home on both gold and silver. Oil, which has been on a slippery slope over the last three days, but we're seeing a little bit of recovery coming back to the oil markets. Flat at the moment, WTI did break below the $40 mark on Friday, but today we've seen some respite after Saudi Arabia tried to quell fears over falling prices. However, crude oil has been struggling for gains even after that statement that's come in. But, of course, the decline for now seems to have been arrested at least today. It's flat at the moment. As we told you, the U.S. markets have opened. It's very flat for now, not doing very much. The Dow just about in negative territory. The S&P 500 just about in positive, And the Nasdaq is flat. Across the Atlantic, European markets under pressure. All major indices are clocking losses as we speak in anticipation of what the Fed is likely to say or do. That's the FTSE for you, down half a percent. The DAX has also lost about 32 points. And similar story playing out for the CAC. We will, of course, continue.